Welcome to this uh, radio video and uh, today in our continuation of uh, decoding digital signals with FLDG uh, a little video that's um, just I think useful to um, actually to know before we start actual decoding of signals um, I want to send you to um, a couple of websites uh, one is the uh, kb9ukd.com slash digital um, if you look at the uh, I'll put the uh, little address right here there we go so this is the website this website has cool digital mode samples so if you wanna slowly uh, get your ear tuned to digital noises on the shortwave bands um, I would suggest that you go here uh, on the left side you see the type of signal and uh, what it is so you can click on these sound clips and uh, hey, you get these uh, really cool um, really cool clips of uh, what's to listen to on the um, shortwave band and the digital modes and you'll get your hear tune so for example our RTTY which is radio teletype 45 baud so you get really an idea of what it sounds like and so depending on there we go Sidor Amtor so you know slowly listen to these clips on this band and you'll have an idea of the different signals and by actually listening to these signals slowly uh, going one by one look at the modes that are available on your um, FLDG program and uh, click the ones that you can relate to not all these signals are available on uh, shortwave but uh, there's a lot of stuff get used to at least uh, a few ones the CW get used to RTTY Sitter is a or Antar is another great one Sitter B um, PK, PSK31 MFSK uh, by listening to those you will actually um, get the hang of what they sound like and what's cool is you got you you got these little details like for example CW you get the description but you also get the different modes and you get not only description but the frequencies where they heard these signals for example so uh, depending on what you're uh, checking for another interesting website if you uh, search Google for digital modes like I did you'll get to um, digital mode samples from KB9 UKD another one that's nice is the WB8NUT digital mode information page uh, this page also has little clips so you get the uh, different digital modes and you get a little speaker icon and you can uh, listen to the different signals uh, and get the hang of it by listening regularly to signals you you'll actually get the hang of what it sounds like when you want to decode something so uh, two great websites um, to go to this is the second one I'll close up the uh, address here if you don't want to google it wb8nut.com slash digital and uh, take a listen to the different modes and you'll see that with time when you hear something on shortwave you'll eventually know what mode it is um, somebody asked me uh, a few maybe a month ago on my uh, on the channel how do you know that this signal is that type of signal um, it was one of the uh, signals of JT65 which is a very different mode then we'll come to eventually um, I came across a signal that was on uh, military use 
and they had a JT65 signal. Somebody asked me, how do you know that it's that type of signal? Uh, well, by here, I um, now am pretty much um, quite, quite good at uh, making a difference between, uh, for example, RTTY, uh, the speed of the RTTY also, and uh, PSK, BPSK31, um, some MFSK also, and um, JT65. So these are all little types of signals. Uh, slow scan TV, I'll, uh, just by ear, I'll know it's that. Um, a uh, weather fax, also by ear, I'll know it's that. So uh, it's really getting your ear, it's like music, getting your ear used to all these noises that you'll be hearing on the shortwave bands and as you decode signals and when you'll decode your first one you'll start to get um, hopefully a little excited and you're gonna say wow this is so cool I want to decode more and you're gonna slowly get your ears tuned to these digital sounds so hope you enjoy this series and that you'll be uh, of course um, decoding all these modes with us on your computer. So, uh, thanks for watching, 73.